I speak Spanish, but I'm gonna try to speak in English so you can understand. Tonight, I'm not here to talk about economic issues because I'm not an economist. I'm not here to talk about our right to free quality education or free and accessible healthcare. I'm not here to talk of the commitment needed to save our environment from pollution in order to save ourselves. I could speak of the racial injustice that people are suffering in this country and in the rest of the world and of the need for comprehensive immigration reforms. All of these are serious issues in America, but today I came to speak briefly about the history of Puerto Rico and a little bit about the history of Latin America and why I'm here tonight in support of Bernie Sanders. I have traveled the world thanks to my music and in traveling I have learned more about the world than I ever learned in college. My name is René, many also know me as Presidente and I am from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a colony of the United States. We are the oldest colony in the world. For years, we have been used as an experimental island, from the medical experiments on our people to chemical experiments on our land. From 1941 until 2003, on the island of Vieques, the United States Navy undertook a series of experiments with different biological and chemical weapons while using the island as a bombing range. To this day, the land and people of Vieques have not fully recovered from this devastation. There is a Puerto Rican, a political prisoner, who has been incarcerated for over 34 years, longer than Nelson Mandela, his name Oscar Lopez Rivera, and he deserves to be free today. More than 2,000 more than 200,000 Puerto Ricans have served in the U.S. military. In our school, children are taught more about U.S. history than of, their, of the history of their own country. That is a colonial education. Without giving you exact numbers, I can tell you that the U.S. gets more out of Puerto Rico economically than Puerto Rico receives from the U.S. We are currently living an unprecedented economic crisis and have the highest rates of poverty and unemployment of any other place in the U.S., yet the U.S. government does not even allow us to restructure our debt. And this is the best one. The states which left more than half a million people dead or disappeared. This means being opposed to a Pinochet in Chile, Rios Mon in Guatemala, Videla in Argentina, just to name a few. I support Bernie Sanders because someone like Hillary Clinton does not, des does not deserve my vote. The thought of Hillary Clinton who has dared to praise the likes of Henry Kissinger, the author of the most despicable Latin American genocide and the architect of Latin American dictatorships responsible for all of those who disappeared in the 60s, 70s and 80s is enough for me not to vote for her. I'm not with her. It will represent an insult to consider yourself Latin American and vote for her. Not just an insult to oneself, but for the many victims who still suffer from this history. An insult to the countless children who have lost their parents and grandparents. I support Bernie Sanders because I know there are still good people like him in this country. And when Senator Sanders wins the upcoming election, people will see the United States in a different light. 
It will no longer be a country that invades, that provokes wars, that quiets people. It will not be a country that tortures or believes in colonies. Instead, the United States will be a country that strives for unity, equality, and peace. If Bernie Sanders were Puerto Rican, I'm certain he will fight with all his might and all his heart, as, any Puerto, and as many Puerto Ricans have done, to bring freedom and self-determination to his country. I am here, like all of you, to support Bernie Sanders because we all support changing the world. Thank you, and now, here.